Carl Jung talked about the shadow. Who knew he was a Sonic fan? Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Gaming, I'm Chris Chappell. It's time once again to lace up those iconic red sneakers and enter the high-speed world of Sonic X Shadow Generations. Not only does it include a fully remastered version of the 2011 Sonic Generations, featuring classic and modern Sonic, this new foray into the universe of Sega's famous mascot will be instead focusing on the journey of the infamous Shadow. Developed by Sonic Team, this next entry into the popular series is looking to expand Shadow's story even further and energize the Sonic fan base. <laughs> Originally appearing in the series for the first time in 2001, Shadow was a fast favorite of fans, new and old. His notably more cynical anti-hero persona provided gamers a welcome contrast to Sonic's patently cocksure and positive mentality, while still being careful not to lose the intrinsic charm the series had become famous for. Although I never did recover from my Chow Garden addiction, why do they keep crying? In Generation, much like his hyperactive counterpart Sonic, Shadow returns with both classic and modern gameplay styles but will also introduce fresh elements like his new Doom powers. Sadly, not these Doom powers. But whether you're exploring the blistering speeds and dizzying heights of green hills with Sonic, or charring the ground beneath Shadow's rocket skates, it's impossible to overlook the importance of the iconic Golden Rings. They can be collected from every corner of the world and need only a moderate amount of effort to obtain, yet their power the ability to imbue their owner with extraordinary resilience to direct conflict is often overlooked as a simple gameplay mechanic. But oh, my sweet summer child, they mean so much more. While Sonic's gold ring system on the surface seems to simply set the series apart from other 90s platformers based around a finite number of lives. Sonic's gold ring mechanic actually provides an impressive insight into the important role of self-sufficiency. Who knew Sonic the Hedgehog would be helping you with life lessons all these years later? The powerful effect of self-sufficiency on the quality of an individual's life and society at large can in fact be seen in practical application throughout the entire franchise. The experience is all about a willingness to get back up after hitting the spikes of life, collect lost rings wherever able, and race on with determination. As long as there are golden rings in one's possession, seemingly endless survivability awaits. Well, that and more levels filled with evil starfish. Beyond the physical effect of the rings making one impervious to complete decimation, the mere promise of their capabilities can additionally provide inspiration during hard and challenging times. Where such proverbial rings are not present, knowing there can and will be new opportunities to gain said rings in a free market, it has the power to keep an individual far too nimble and focused to be confined by either force or circumstance. As the ancient Greek philosopher Epicurus famously stated, self-sufficiency is the greatest of all wealth, and the greatest fruit of self-sufficiency is freedom. As such, he directly links the ability to provide for oneself with a state of true liberty. Through diligence, one can experience individual freedom and directly improve the quality of their respective life. This not only allows those successful in doing so to enjoy their experiences with greater freedom due to the resources gained through their efforts, but additionally provides them a secure position from which to help others. Most notably so, without the need for outside influences or governments that can often corrupt a sincere interaction between people. Corrupt governments, you say? Surely you jest. The trained endurance provided by such sufficiency is what has historically kept the malevolent at bay, the Dr. Robotniks of the world who seek to control others. In truth, such devious avatars actually need the populace to be unable to survive without their assistance and desperately desire security through compliance. Instead of choosing the inherent responsibility of self-reliance, the citizenry who embrace a desire for security above all else must ultimately forfeit their freedom to those all too willing to control them. As famously stated by American lawyer Wendell Wilkie, it is from weakness that people reach for dictators and concentrated government power. Only the strong can be free. In practical application, Sonic's unrelenting strength of will 
simply always wins out in the end against the iron hand of Dr. Robotnik. It's something that makes Sonic, representing the proverbial populace, an impossible challenge for the villains of modern society or government. They, like the evil doctor, consistently fail to control, contain, and break Sonic, no matter their technological prowess or overall numbers, because of the rings. Such will, born out of self-sufficiency, cannot be broken so easily and inspires strength in others. In truth, self-reliance empowers individuals and communities to make decisions and control their own destinies, fostering a sense of autonomy and dignity apart from any governmental or national control structures. It provides a natural and healthy balance between the governed and those who seek to govern. In the end, as the famous polymath Aristotle claimed, self-sufficiency is a requirement of happiness and that which on its own makes life worthy of choice and lacking in nothing. As always, thank you for watching Deep Thoughts While Gaming. And remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons faster than Sonic can tackle a loop-de-loop. -loop. And if you happen to find yourself with an excess of gold rings, consider throwing a few my way to keep making Deep Thoughts While Gaming. You can go to patreon.com slash gamersunbeaten or hit that join button to get access to an exclusive Discord server, live streams, videos, custom emojis, and all the chili dogs you can eat. And check out this video about Street Fighter and what it can teach us about globalization.